Right, hi guys, and welcome to the first bit of content for Guild Wars 2 on this channel. Um, I would have brought some out earlier, but I have literally been playing Guild Wars so much in my free time that I didn't have any free time left to record any videos. So, the first bit of content I've figured I'm going to do is a little help, a little how-to video. Um, how to get all the different vistas in Lion's Arch. As you can see, I'm 100% of it and I'm roughly 54% of the map complete so far. So it, it's going alright. Haven't uh, quite finished yet, but we'll get there eventually. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people asking in sort of map chat or general chat um, how you get to certain vistas in Lion's Arch. So I figured I'd do a video on how to get them all, as some other people might be finding it hard. So what I'm going to do now is pause on this lovely screen for a second and since this we have the joys of YouTube and if you've got annotations turned on then I'll put little links over all the different vistas and you click that link and you can get taken to that part of the video or if you haven't seen any of the vistas in this area whatsoever or haven't done them then uh, just watch and we'll take you through each one I guess we'll start in the top right and we'll head our way down Okay, here I'll start it from this waypoint as most of you will be able to find this waypoint easily. We're going to be heading for this vista here. Um, just to show you on the map, in case you're not sure where we are. It's the top corner of Lion's Arch. So let's go get it. Right, we're inside the cave now. Um, I've seen quite a few people standing here and using a speed boost and somehow there. Uh, oh, did it first time. Jumping up onto this bit and then on top. But if you're having trouble with that, you can actually jump on these stalag mites. I think mites are the ones that grow up. And then it's just a simple case of cross and onto the top of here. Okay, so there's our first one done. On to the second one. Okay, starting from the waypoint again. For those of you who don't know where we are, top corner, Flying's Arch. We're going to be getting uh, this vista here next. This one is actually surprisingly easy. I, the first time I came to this, I assumed it would be a really complicated jumping puzzle of round buildings, and I failed already. Oh my god. Why am I falling through that rock? Yeah, I thought it'd be a, a really hard jumping puzzle that went round the houses. Can't actually sure go this way. Over these are sort of part broken down ships. But it really isn't anywhere near that complicated at all. Um, I'm trying to remember the way I did it first. No, this is it. So yeah, you can jump up that way where that person did, but I had so much trouble I decided to change it around and go this way. So yeah, it's a simple case of jumping onto the roof from that back side or from the side, and here we are. There we go, Next, second vista complete. Um, next we're going to be doing the two from the town centre. So, Okay, here we are in the raid town centre outside the Mystic Forge, for those of you who don't know where it is. Here we are. 
that area of lion's arch. Right. What we're going to do is get this one that I'm kind of stood under. It's actually, I don't know if you can see it, it's on the end of that branch, or beam even. Okay, let me see if I can remember where to get this. If I remember correctly, down here there are some steps. Ah, this is it. Up this little walkway here, as high as it'll take you. Which takes you around to the very right top of the town. Not many people even know this area of Lion's Arch exists. And you actually get some pretty good views if you were interested in the slightest. So we're running along this promenade, I guess it would be called. Balanced in the skies. There is that which looks like it's gonna be part of yeah, it's part of a wing. Which I assumed might lead to something interesting, but trust me, I've been up there and had a look around, and it doesn't. Sometimes some of the developing things, you think they should lead something, something interesting, but they really don't. Alright, and here's the view. presume that is why it gets its name its name at Lion's Arch. Right, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people jump off here uh, to get down, but I really wouldn't suggest it because it does kill you, even at level 80. So I'm just going to teleport down and we'll start the next vista. Right, here we are. For those of you who don't know, we're starting at this waypoint outside the bank again. I'm going to be going to get this vista here. And remember myself how to get this one. As I got this one quite a while ago. That was it. So, as you can see right now, we can still see the Mr. Forge, we're just here. And running up this platform, very much like the last one, if you were watching these in order. If not, then you've no idea what I'm talking about, but never mind. Right to here, uh, along this plank, and the next fist is done. Okay, that's that fist done. Next, we are going to get this vista here. So we'll do it from this waypoint. Okay, here we are. For those of you who skipped through the video, we're starting from this waypoint to get this vista. Um, this, I think, was the first vista I got in the area for some reason. So bear with me if it takes a second to remember. Exactly how I got it. Right, so there it is. So now I've just got to remember how I got up there. I think it must have been from the other side. Ha. Yes, I think it was. Apparently you can't go over that. Small little box, because obviously... Oh, there we go. Maybe you can. Yep, so it's just a case of getting to this place here. That's where it is on the map, if you need some sort of indication. 
jumping onto the sail and running roughly up the middle. There are some parts of the sail I found that bugged out, sort of down these side areas where you wouldn't think you'd slip off, but you do, so just be careful and I'd, I'd try and run up this centre beam just to make sure that you don't fall off. So here's a view. to the next vista. Right, for those of you checking out this bit, we're at, at this waypoint, just sort of uh, southeast from the bank I guess, and we're going to be getting this vista. This is I think the vista that most people have trouble with, so I'll try and explain this simply. Not that it's especially complicated when you know how actually. So yeah, it's this rock in the middle of the ocean and there's no way to get up to it and the amount of people I've seen trying to jump to it and there's no way you're jumping that far. The trick is to talk to this little Azura here. You he know for my intellect. Talk to you about um, some rocket type weapon. Basically you press U-Bet and you get his weapon. And then it's a simple case of using the one ability of the weapon and jumping across. Simple as that. And here's the view. So there we go, on to the next vista. Next we're going to get this one here, next to Poston Ward. Okay, for those of you skipping through the video, this is the vista we're at currently. The far east of Lion's Arch. And someone is talking over me, damn NPCs. Yep, and we're getting this vista right here. I don't think anyone really should have any trouble with this one, I don't think. It's literally just a fairly obvious little jumping puzzle. That's not much of a puzzle, if I'm honest. But, in case anyone's had any trouble with it, here it is. There's that vista complete. Next we're going to get this one. This one actually causes some people a lot of trouble. Okay, so for those of you skipping to this part of the video, which I recommend, which I recommend, which I believe there'll be uh, quite a few. Don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, yep, we're going for this waypoint. This waypoint, this vista. God, it's, you can tell it's late at night. Yeah, so we've moved to the far shore waypoint. I'm getting this vista. This vista also has a jumping puzzle, which um, I may do a little bit about how to complete at some point. Um, but I think most of you should be able to, if you get to the jumping puzzle, work out how to do it. So, we've head to this windmill building on the side of the cliff. I'm just heading around the side. Jumping on the hay bales to take us over to this little secluded section here. Now this is the bit where everyone seems to get confused at. They realise the hay bales are a small jumping puzzle, but then they head up there back onto the roof. There's actually a hidden little passage here through the brush, which is quite cheekily hidden. And then again, we're just heading up the side of this very tall hill. And through this other little hidden passage again until we get to here. Finally, we're going to jump round here, just round the edge. 
not fall off like that person did, hopefully. Oh. Not far off, though. And that's the hint at the jumping puzzle. So let's take a look at the view. So there you go. <laughs> the actual view is also another hint at the jumping puzzle. And yeah, to get into the jumping puzzle, it's just a simple case of jumping down there and trying not to die. I think I had a friend who died 20 times when they get in, so uh, I might do a video on that later, how to get in. But for now, let's move on to the next vista. This is our next vista, so let's head to this waypoint. Okay, for those of you skipping through the video, we're now going to get this vista. We're at the uh, Blood Curse Ward waypoint. So let's go get it. Okay, so it's just up these steps here. Which will take you round to the building. Up the steps again to the top, and here it is. Probably the easiest vista going, walk up some steps that are fairly obvious and get to the vista. But just in case you're having issues, try and find it. Maybe you stood down by this weird arena that no one's quite sure what it's for yet. Then uh, there's it. Let's take a look at the view. Right, that's that one done. There was quite a lot of talk about this little arena area, since it is kind of the arena like logo with two pets in, that they will be introducing pet battles. Lots of people were suspecting that in the beta. Um, it's released now, it's, Guild Wars has been out for a couple of weeks, but it's still not in, so I would guess it might just be a joke to get people suspicious. Putting two pets in quite obviously makes it look like a battle arena. Or maybe they're just having a laugh at WoW, bringing in their Pokemon battles in Mist of Pandaria. Who knows? Anyway, we're moving on to the next waypoint now, which will be this one in the middle of the sea. So I'm going to move to the Claw Island waypoint, and I'll see you there. Okay, for those of you skipping through the video, we're getting this vista in the middle of the ocean now, we've moved to the Claw Island waypoint, you can also do it from the Sanctum Harbour waypoint, there's not much of a difference in it really. This is again a super simple one, it's just a case of uh, swimming through the sea. Until you get to the viewpoint and then just swimming down to it, that simple. So, here's a view, guys. Okay, that's that. And now I believe we're on to the final vista, which is this one just here. Um, I think everyone should have this waypoint. I actually spent an embarrassing amount of time trying to get to this jumping up and it's quite a simple job of climbing up these steps to the waypoint and just jumping off. So enjoy the view guys on our final waypoint. And since it hints at it so obviously, I think we'll finish this video with a dive off the platform. I hope everyone enjoyed it and found it useful. 
if you've got any uh, tips or any improvements, feel free to leave them in the comments. If there's anything else you'd like to see me do, or any areas in particular you want me to show you completely next, then let me know. I think most of the points of interest are fairly obvious, but if they're not, and you think people will find that um, useful, then feel free to let me know about that as well. So, here we are in the diving goggles, and I'll leave you with a fantastic dive. See you guys next time.